Fourth of July celebrations took a tragic turn for a family downtown who witnessed one man fall 50 feet from a rooftop. Police are calling what happened an accident tonight. News Channel 5's Brandon Marshall is at the Five Alert Center right now. Brandon, I know you spoke to the witnesses. How are they doing? Vicki, as you can imagine, they are both shocked to have seen the man fall 50 feet and which is four stories to the ground. But tonight, both pastors tell me they are praying for the man's family and friends. It's surreal. John and Melissa Diffenderford came to enjoy the 4th of July in downtown Nashville with their children when the unimaginable happened. And we see this man walking on the rooftop. Um, the next thing we see him jump from that roof to the roof that is on our building. And the next minute I look out the window again and I see him falling between the buildings. Police say around 515 yesterday evening, 22 year old Gage Charance of Arizona fell 50 feet trying to jump from the roof of Ernest Tubb Record Shop to the downtown sporting club. Sky 5 gives you a better look at how things may have started. Detectives say Charance ran into the mellow mushroom, past security, and onto the roof. He then jumped to the roof of AJ's Good Time Bar, then to the Ernest Tubb Record Shop. The customers that notified us at the register were so casual, they just casually mentioned, hey, uh, somebody jumped off your roof. It didn't sound right. The shop and sporting club are 14 feet apart. Melissa's husband called 911 after the man fell. The guy himself, I mean, seeing him up on the roof was unusual, but other than that, he was just like any other guy downtown. Um, it didn't seem premeditated. It didn't seem like it was something he did intentionally. Paramedics rushed him to the hospital where he was critically hurt and later died. Praying for his family. I know this is got to be rough for all of them. And as police are continuing to look into this investigation again, they are calling the man's death accidental. At the Five Alert Center, Brandon Marshall, News Channel 5.